I found all three characters very compelling. I think, you know, even more than that, I found the stories very interesting in the way that they you know, kind of vaguely but pretty poetically tie together. Um, and a little bit about them, hard to do because they're pretty uh, layered backgrounds of those stories. But I, I, I mean, in, in doing it, I was just so excited to work on something um, with Yorgos that, that he and Ephthemus had written because, you know, the only films I ever saw of his were written by him and Ephthemus before The Favorite, um, which was the first time I worked with him. So it was just, it was very cool to be, you know, in that experience. It was wonderful. I, I got to work with Willem and... Joe and Margaret again, um, and I got to meet Jesse and Hong and Mamadou and uh, just so many, so many incredible people. So it was, it was a blast. I never know what they'll take away, but what I took away was just a very compelling, dark, funny story about the complexity of being human, which is like you know a theme in all of Yorgos's films. So the script in general was unlike anything I'd ever read before and um, made me feel uh, a wide variety of emotions but uh, couldn't quite understand exactly why you know um, and uh, yeah I, I love scripts and stories like that that operate in kind of non-traditional ways and um, yeah there, there's probably some common thread between the three but I was really excited for the challenge of finding this line of differentiating the three while still keeping some cohesive thread and Getting to work with this crazy, talented troupe of actors and, you know, uh, artists on every level and, and Yorgos, it was, it was a blast. It was, uh, in, in a lot of ways, entirely different from, from anything that I had ever done. Um, I guess maybe the only comfort I had was I had sort of done a film that is completely different but operating in a sort of dreamscape, nightmare scape. In somewhat similar way uh, called I'm thinking of ending things so yeah I mean but again this was felt like a totally standalone experience the end of the sequence of the the first film um, where uh, Robert goes to the hospital and kidnaps RMF and you know that whole sequence I don't want to spoil anything but there's a driving sequence that was pretty memorable and yeah. Well, Yorgos I've worked with before on Poor Things, and it was such a good time. I really, he knows how to speak to actors, he makes a beautiful world, gives you fun things to do. Also, he's very, he gives you a great setup, lets you go, and then watches you like an audience, and then from there, gives you very good notes and uh, guides you. So, it's, it's kind of a a way that I like to work. I try to be there to have an experience and then I hope that it's honest and connected enough that it'll, you know, it'll resonate with the audience. It wasn't so much the characters specifically, it was the world that I found the most compelling and these people put in these situations that were beyond my understanding and still maybe remains outside of my understanding. And just seeing them navigate through that and all the other characters, that was, that was the most interesting, interesting thing to me. I, w I would second that. It's obvious, you know, characters are exciting to play, but with a Yorgos film, you just want to be a part of the strange, wonderful landscape that he's creating. And um, he's a one-of-a-kind filmmaker, and you just want to spend time in the world that he's, he's building. Big fans of everybody in the cast uh, respected their work. I mean, I saw his first movie when he first came out of the gate. Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. This guy should have got an Oscar. Um, yeah, it's just like, it's, it's a great group of people, really kind, but real actors, you know, like people that are interested in the work itself rather than like the glitz and the glamour of everything. So it's always lovely. No, that's so nice. I, I, I think everyone feels very lucky and it makes a big difference when you're working with people that you, you admire and you respect and, 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 uh, and that's very much the case in this one. So I think we all felt really lucky. My character plays um, Emily, Emma Stone's daughter, and Joe Allen's son. I mean, Joe Allen's daughter, and I thought it was just an amazing to work with them. And I thought my character, she was like, because I the, the parents the parents were divorced, and so I thought it was just such a great to work with them both because they're like one of my favorite actors of all time, and I thought my character was like 
like best of both worlds, even though they hated each other inside. The director, I love him. I, my favorite director so far. And um, the cast was all just like laid back, and they're obviously like my favorite actors of all time. I love watching them in other movies. I hope they get at that I like wanted my parents to get back together, but at the same time, I wanted them just both to be happy. My favorite scene was when I got to meet my mom for the first time that I like haven't seen her in a really long time. And so I and then she greets me and I think I was coming home back from school and then I saw her and then the joy on my face. I hope people really enjoyed watching my performance.